to the good days, here's to the sorrows. This is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. Too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one so all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to see Everybody, hopefully you can all hear me and grab your drink and your coffee. You know, give me a second. Th these lights back here, they keep doing something. They are not happy with me. Here we go. Let's change that color. I don't like that one. All right, we'll just do green for now. And I have to keep doing green because it's like, like one of the only options I have other than like this bright orangey red and then um, like half green, half blue. But that's all I got going on. Oh no, my hair. I woke up at like one from an alarm because y'all know I work the nights and I start, I this is my weekend between my night shifts. So I'm still like on nights. So I went to bed at like four. Oh no, my hair. Okay. Hey everybody. I'm a mess. Ooh, I'm a mess right now inside out what else so today we're going to look at melissa collins again and let me tell you you want to know what's going on in her group can anyone guess her group that she said that was going to be amazing and and the most life training life changing training um that was paired with this 130 and thirty dollar planner absolutely flipping nothing there's nothing going on in there since we last covered her Seriously, like over a week ago, a week ago, I'm like, so is this not a part of it? Is this not a part of like, what, what are we doing? So I got one of her, she has two videos in there. We watched one of her videos last time. We're going to watch another one this time. So, Cause you know, that's all that's in it. I guess she hasn't shown up. Everyone's mad. No. I, well, no one's really saying anything. Listen, it's hard to be mad with Melissa. Or, well, to let her know that you're mad because she's mean. 
And we're going to look first before we watch her video at something that she said in 2022. Uh, and y'all might be like, Julie Jo, that's two years ago. Worth every word to read. Just trust me. You think you're a mess, JJ? Wait till Melissa gets on screen. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my surprise face. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Sky said, it sounds like she just needed some extra money in the bank by getting people to buy the planner. That's, I was just talking to Erin, like before I got on this live on a FaceTime. She said the same thing. Oh, Yvonne, welcome. I'm redecorating things in advance or keep me company. You are more than welcome. Not that Kate. I'm glad that you're here. Glad you're here. So, um, I guess we should just jump into what was her very wild post. I, I want to thank Charlene because Charlene sent this in our discord. And if you remember, you can be a part of the discord. I want to get the discord pump, like going again, since I have more time to interact. But um, in particular, thanks to Charlene, she's a mod and a member and she sent this to us in the discord. So we're going to look at it together. Uh, I was going to say something. Oh, love your look, Julie Jo. Thank you, Peppermint. That's really nice. Oh, that post. <laughs> yeah, Charlene, that post. <laughs> um, I, I have two videos coming out this week. Um, and for members, y'all are going to get the, for the first video tonight. And then everyone else will get it tomorrow. And then hopefully Wednesday or Thursday is when my second video will be out and about. So let's take a look at what she has said. Should I do this? No, that's too much. No, that's better. All right. Oh, thank you, Erin Brooks. Appreciate that. Um, Charlene said, I found some other things in Melissa's older posts that were interesting. Hmm. Hmm. She's she's quite the character. Uh, Saban Seymour said, so she's the mean girl that hasn't changed from high school. Right. That's that's correct. From, from what I'm gathering. This is what Melissa says in this post. February 4th, 2022. This might be a little messy and possibly unprofessional, but by the end, you should be fully informed of why I am the way I am and how much I don't even give one flying fuck. Did you hear how I said that? I feel like that's how she would say it. Oops, already said fuck. <laughs> that laugh was what I would think that she would do. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that was just a little weird. Growing up, I was a little weird. In middle school, I had braces and I was just, I don't know, awkward. I dropped out of high school for many of the same reasons I effing hated it. I hated the pressure, the mean girl bull crap, the constant, by the way, she's cussing. When you hear me say bull crap, or I, I know I, I totally said the F words earlier, but I don't want to say it throughout the whole thing because I potentially could if I was going to. There's a lot of the cussing. One moment. Um, the mean girl bull crap, the constant need to fit in. I hated it all. I'm a little weird and awkward. Guess what? It's taken a lot of years, but I like me. I have a lot to say about all of this, but I'm not going to because that could be rude. <laughs> Michelle. Uh, then years later, I got to come out as a lesbian. Dealt with another group of idiots about that. Then I got to come out as wanting to go pro in Emma. But she isn't she dating a guy now? She's like married to a male. Am I wrong? whatever. We'll deal with that later. Uh, then I got to come out as wanting to go pro in MLM dealt with the haters and stupid mean girls about that. Wait, let me be clear. Stupid broke mean girls. <laughs> she's probably talking. She's not talking about me there, but I know that she would say that about me if she could. Then last year I started getting vocal about my conservative views. That's not shocking, Melissa. Not in any, listen, <sighs> A lot of con dots are connecting from this one page. If you know, if you know what I'm saying when I say that, you know what I'm saying. Okay. If you have conservative views, please know that I don't think poorly of you unless you are homophobic and a terrible person. There we go. And there's some terrible people that are not conservative, by the way. Uh, shock and awe, a lesbian conservative. Now everyone hates me. Oops. Okay. Where's... I'm going to move on to the next page. Well, booties, how can I move on? I swore I was able to.
Um, hey, I'm still here, but I can't find my little clicker. And even more than this hurts. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh -huh -huh. Oh, it's because I didn't add the PDF. <laughs> wow, JJ. You're so funny. Okay. All right. This one's out of order, sadly. So I have to figure it out. Oh, but she does. Oh, shit. She does say a word in. I, I'm sorry. I'm not on. I'm not on screen. She does say a slur. I forgot about that. So let me. It's fine. We'll just. We're adults, so we can just hop, skip, jump right over that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Some days I look like the girl on the left, but more often I look like the homeless slur, wandering lesbian on the right. It's okay if you don't like it. I like it. My opinion is the only one I listen to. Yours was rendered irrelevant years ago. Apparently, I have a new fan club, haha, -ha, filled with little girl haters who want to tell people I'm rude and appropriate and professional and other words stupid girls try to sling to make themselves feel better. Well, to be fair, like to be absolutely fair, Melissa, so far, they're not wrong. I mean, look at this post and what we've seen so far, the rude, inappropriate, and unprofessional that's not wrong. <laughs> that that's che that checks out. She continues, this is for you ladies. Hurry up, report back to headquarters. <laughs> little girl haters, I know. I am sorry you have so little that what I say on social media even matters. Bye, babe. Bye. Riley. Bye. Sorry, Riley was stepping out. I don't know what he's saying. I'm sorry you're so broke. Even You even have time to pay attention. Go water your business and make it grow, you'll forget all about my unprofessional argumentative ass. Oh, that's real good. I love when someone says, I'm sorry you're so broke. Thanks for, thanks for the apology. Can I have some money? <laughs> she continues, I'm sorry you've been treated the way you're treating, you're trying to treat me. I know that's all you know. I hope someday you decide to try to be better. <laughs> It's just ironic that she says that, but is writing this post, you know, the sad thing. Oh, here, actually, I probably can go to the next one. The sad thing is the assumptions you make about me are causing you to miss out. The very thing you're trying to spread about me is driving people to me. Uh, this is, that's always kind of this narrative with people in multi-level marketing companies, whether it's a hater like me or a hater like it's someone else in MLM is, oh, you giving me attention is making people come to me. And it's like, no, that's actually not true. So 10 people, 10,000 people watched my video, Melissa. You think that that's drawing them to you? No, but that's what, that's what she pushes. Like, that's what they push is, oh my gosh, you're getting me so much business. It's like, no, I, I really know that I'm not. Someone watching my video is not going to go, oh, I definitely want to follow her. Absolutely not. She continues, I'm a lot of things. I can be brash and bold and loud and rude even, but I'm a damn good friend and leader. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, I stand between my friends and literally anything that comes. You would never find someone who would work harder or love you more. And it's sad that superficial nonsense is more important to you. She's just kind of not being, she's not making sense. So please, by all means, keep talking, keep telling people to come watch the show. It is a show. I might say, I feel like I, I feel like we're, we watch a show every weekend when we watch her, I will enroll your entire, oh my God, this is my favorite part. This is so iconic. It's iconic. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I, it's so iconic. I will enroll your entire downline one by one. Oops. I'm not supposed to say that, right? It's true though. <laughs> oh my gosh. She said, we don't play by the same rules, sis. So don't come here with that. I'm not in your arena and you're definitely not in mine. That's my favorite one. Okay. I'm going to read it again because it's so good. I love it so much in a way that's not supportive of Melissa, just for the record. I will enroll your entire downline one by one. Oops. I'm not supposed to say that, right? It's true, though. 
We don't play in the same role, sis. So don't come here with that. I'm not in your arena and you're definitely not in mine. It's great. That was, that was, that's my favorite. That's my favorite part of this whole thing so far. It's so good. Okay. So good. I know, right? Isn't it? Um, it's better here. And until you wake up and open your eyes, they will leave your toxic garbage can dumpster fire space and come over where they are valued and appreciated. <laughs> Wait, let me read that one again. It's better here. And until you wake up and open your eyes, they will leave your toxic garbage can dumpster fire space and come over where they are valued and appreciated. Isn't it so good? I'm loving every moment of this. I And the reason I love it so much. Oh, Jennifer, the Canadian has finally caught a JJ live blinding snowstorm right now. Oh, Jennifer, hope y'all are all right up there. Um, I'm up, I'm in the North too, but we don't have snowstorms yet. It's, is, it is neg in the negatives and snowing, but it's not a storm. I hope y'all are doing all right. Stay warm. So, um, I think Desiree said it really well when she said, this is so fucking high school. OMG. It's painful, right? Like it's, it's painful how ridiculous this is. What's that Riley? our projector broke last night we watch tv on a projector but it's like a cheap projector from amazon so it broke last night so we just bought the same one uh, okay anyway keep telling them you can't answer you're so busy i'll answer them and help that's a good point cindy hey looks like a lot of mlmers are in trouble and talking so much nonsense i agree this was from a couple years ago i will say just a reminder for people she was just mad at somebody somebody made her mad so she posted this and it's my favorite Charlene shared it, and I just can't get enough of it, to be honest. <laughs> Cheers to Melissa. Maybe she's been drinking again. <laughs> Krista. Oh, that live was interesting, wasn't it? Keep telling them you can't answer. You're so busy. I'll answer them to help. I'll answer them and help. All right, cool. And then here's the last part of it. Keep telling them you don't have time to train them one-on-one. -on -one. I got you, boo. I do that, too. It's funny because she doesn't do that anymore. She refuses to train. She said that multiple times. If you've seen a Melissa Collins live with me, You've heard her say multiple times, no more training. I don't train, blah, 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 blah. She does an automated, an automated thing, kind of like the Betty the Bot thing that Jesse Lee Ward did. Continuing, <clears throat> keep telling them they have training when in fact they have nothing but a bunch of raw, raw lives and garbage copy paste messages. Interesting, because that's kind of what she does now, but whatever. We got them. I'll show them what real training is. Listen, sis, best to just slink back to wherever you crawled out of. I am not the one. I've dealt with ugly hearted women like you my entire life. I know exactly what to do and it's not passive aggressive. I'm more of an in your face, you'll regret having my name in your mouth kind of gal. Iconic. I truly. Oh, have a nice day, sunshine. Thanks for your PR, baby. I really appreciate you so much. It's so good. All right. That's the last of that. I just read four pages of Melissa Collins venting and bitching to you. This is probably my favorite post I've ever read ever. Unhinged before, still unhinged today. <laughs> Got it right, Yvonne. Is she threatening people to train them? So the people that she's, she's, she's threatening people to destroy their business pretty much. And in in this is what she's doing. She's like, I will destroy your business. I will take every single one of them. Listen, we got to read that iconic part again, okay? Um, okay, Where, where'd it go? It's right here. Okay, are y'all ready? Here's the most iconic part of all of it. Look at my comment above. Jeez, who hurt you? Who hurt Melissa so bad? I'm curious who hurt Melissa so bad. Is there another one? Um, how old is she? I don't know, in her 40s? Maybe. She's got a couple kids. And she... Is that rude? I'm not going to say it. She looks like she's in her 40s. 40-year-old 40, 40, 40 people look beautiful, by the way. I'm just saying. Age is, aging is fine. Um, but I, but I've had to guess she's probably like 41, 42. The adventures of Mean Girl continues. 40 going on 14. 
Now that I feel, but wait, okay, let's read the cyclonic part again. And then, um, Charlene, if I missed something, please let me know. Like if I missed a comment of yours, let me know. Um, but I am curious, like what my bestie is 41. Aaron, my best friend or 42. No. Oh my God. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> She's my best friend. She looks, she looks like she's in her early 30s. She looks stunning. Her skin is so beautiful. Anyway, I just can't stop admiring her. Um, I will enroll your entire downline one by one. Oops, I'm not supposed to say that, right? It's true though. We don't play the same rules, sis. So don't come here with that. I'm in, I'm not in your arena, and you're definitely not in mine. Oh my gosh, all these people in their 40s. I'm so thank you for being here. We I love a good Gen Xer. My best friend's Gen X. Y'all mean no. Julie Anderson, I completely literally adore her so much. Oh goodness. And y'all are also some of the meanest people on TikTok to me, but not y'all, but you know what I mean? Gen X. I have a love-hate relationship with Gen X because my bestie's Gen X. But then also I've been torn to pieces on TikTok by Gen X. <laughs> So peace and love to everybody. <laughs> Except those people on TikTok. Mostly sensey women. Y'all know what I'm saying? OG Gen X, right, Charlene? Mm, thank y'all for being here with me. I appreciate it. So that is one of the most iconic, I mean, like, paragraphs I've ever heard someone in an MLM say. And this sentence will forever be with me. I will enroll your entire downline one by one. Oops. I'm not supposed to say that, right? Girl. I'm out here 21. I'm 27. So Gen X gives no Fs. Apparently not. I'm 20. 21, 20. Hey. 48. Yay. I consider myself an old millennial. Yes. And a P. We have seen some shoot. Yeah, same. I'm a, I'm a, a zillennial, Gen Z millennial. I'm right. I'm literally 96, which is like on a lot of the, um, you know, cusp is on the cusp of Gen Z and millennial. So I'm, zillen I'm, I'm zillennial. That's what it is. <laughs> That's right, Jolene. Oh, 32. Welcome. Venetia, I'm old, lol. Um, I love old too. We always welcome 37 poies. That's not old. I thought you were gonna be like in your late 60s. I swear to God. That's what I think's like older. You know, I think like you're older and you're like, I don't even think 60s like old. Is that weird? Is that wrong? I think that's what I think. I'm 35, I'll be 36 in March. I'll be 28 in February. 96 was a good year. I was 12 then. <laughs> oh, peace and love. I love you all. Just know that. So, it's okay, honey. He's he turned on that um the projector, the new one that we just got because the old one broke yesterday. So, okay. So that is I'm pushing 32 as well. Not 32, but 30 as well. That is the post that I thought we could start today and now we're getting to Melissa Collins' video. How are y'all feeling? How are we feeling? How are we doing? Let's go. Let's watch. My dad's a runner at 74. You know what? I saw that a 99-year-old did a, a half marathon recently. Man, shout out to them. Couldn't be me, but good for them because I, I, wow, that's impressive. Um. Hey, are y'all okay if I'm small? Do y'all would y'all rather me be small? All right. Um. Jeez, Louise. Let me remove this. It's being weird. I'm Gen Z. I'm just out of touch. <laughs> oh, that's a vibe. Sometimes, yeah, for your mental health, you gotta be out of touch. All right, here we go. Home G pause game, right? Have I missed anything? Lexi, you did miss her most iconic post ever from two years. Well, that I know from two years ago. That's thumbnail worthy. You think so? You were one when my baby girl was born in 97. I was one. 
That was one. Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. It's going to be a little noisy here. This, the cleaning people got here. The dogs are going Melissa, you have one job. Well, I don't know. I know she doesn't like to work at all. So, I mean, she has jobs, but she doesn't actually do them. She has other people working for her. You have one job, and it is to please deliver a decent training video in this group that people paid $120 to be a part of. And you can't even do that. You have to film it while there's cleaning people there. You have to. That's ridiculous. So annoying. So I guess we're going to be listening to her annoyingly loud cleaning training video. It's crazy, but I want to get this live done. Um, and I want to get this information out to you guys. So... And yes, this will say here on the replay. You can come back and watch it so you can see my beautiful morning hairdo as often as you want to. <laughs> say hi when you come on, hit the heart button. Let's make sure some people see this live. Um, I um, cannot see comments while I'm live in a group. I, I, I don't know. It's like a Facebook glitch or something, but this. Can we not get a microphone? Listen, I'm going to be kind of that girl on YouTube. Please get a microphone. Because Melissa does a lot of lives, which we know we've covered a lot of them, right? Please get a microphone, Melissa. This is ridiculous. Just the way that it is. Again. So here we are. Um, we're going to talk about strategic planning and what you need to do before you get your planner. This is really important. And here's the thing. Look, my way isn't the only way, but my way is the only way I know to teach you. And so I'm going to, I'm going to back this up um, with a little bit of my story and 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 what i did to change my life and then and what i've done since then and um it, it's what i wrote it's why i wrote the book i wrote i wrote a book called relentless if right and this is my point too imagine acting like you're a professional business owner and this is how you present yourself couldn't be me i'm sorry god i can barely even hear i know i'm sorry y'all listen carefully jj this advice is for you and your planner <laughs> Thanks, Lexi. I'll listen carefully. Oh, yes. Okay, please like this. If you could take a moment, if you're watching the 200 and something people on here and just like the video, that'd be great. I always forget. Thank you. Um, who mentioned that? Thank you, Jen, so much. Oh, Jen. Hi, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you so much for mentioning that. If you want that, it's on Amazon. Just search Relentless Melissa Collins. If you search only my name, you're going to find out that there's an author named Melissa Collins who writes, like, pornography. That's not me. <laughs> I was like, when I wrote the book and I put it on Amazon, I was like, oh, the only other Melissa Collins author is like a smut novel author. That's awesome. So definitely search the word relentless, then Melissa Collins. Oh, she does. Um, and you'll find She's right. It. But anyway, the point is this. Um, one day, I was living my life on autopilot like a lot of you are, like a lot of people are. Wait, pause. I need to share this. I need to share this because she's absolutely right. Look, I so at first I typed in Melissa Collins, author. Obviously wasn't her. Then I typed in Melissa Collins who relentless. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at the screen. <laughs> this pops up while her book also pops up. And I just, oh shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. There we go. Sorry, please, please. I know, I know, I know. I didn't share it. We're sharing it out. This pops up while her book also pops up and the fact that i know this freaks her out so bad is my favorite i know you can't see anything i'm sorry i'm sorry sorry you know <laughs> anyway <laughs> iconic iconic all right let's keep watching her Ooh, gay smut yes and we love gay smut over here we love it all i'm just saying the fact that i know this freaks her out like her book pops up and then gay smut pops up. It's so good. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'll um, add her back. And I just woke up one day and was like, I am not happy. <clears throat> I look happy from the outside. I live in a nice house and a nice family. But I am not happy. And I agree, Rebecca. Rebecca was like, spicy isn't exactly corn. She made a little leap there. Yeah. She, I think it was a little bit of leap. I think so. And I kept, at the time, I kept trying to fill it with things. I was trying to fill this hole with things, with material things. That was my coping mechanism. Everybody has different ones. 
Um, and I kept giving my power away to everyone else. I was saying yes to everything and giving away my power to people who don't have my same goals in mind. And so the first thing that you have to recognize when you start a process like this is that you have the choice to feel however you want to feel about anything. A, a lot of you are giving your power consistently away to people. Someone offends you and you spend time and mental energy on that, you're just handing them your power. <clears throat> you're letting other people's thoughts or what you think are their thoughts and their perceptions guide your decisions. We have so many decisions to make every day, so many decisions that most of our decisions are made by our subconscious brain on autopilot. And if you don't get really intentional about planning, you cannot make good decisions. But the good news is, when you get super intentional about this process, when you actually follow this process and you start to do it, decisions become so easy, so simple. It's just you look right back to your plan and it's like a simple yes or no. Does this meet my goal or does it not? If it does, it's a yes, hard yes, fast yes. I can make decisions like this. Does this meet my goal? Yes. Does it not meet my goal? It's a no. Even if uh, Anyone have decision fatigue? Because me. <laughs> Most of my most of my life decision fatigue constantly all day every day, which I think a lot of us struggle from. But um, and hard and fast, yes, you say. <laughs> is she in her unfinished basement? She is correct. Yeah. It's gonna upset. We no no disrespect to an unfinished basement. I'm just saying yes that she is. Other people, even if other people don't like my answer, even if other people aren't on board with it, it's not for me. <clears throat> I don't make decisions in my subconscious brain. I make decisions based on my plan. And I personally do this process every quarter. Um, <clears throat> I think every year is too long. We lose it and our goals will change and shift. And the, you know, the, 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 the plan yeah, needs to change and shift a little bit. And so it starts with goals, but there's only three areas you need goals in and you need them in all three. You need a goal for your health. You need a goal for your wealth. And you need a goal for your relationships. Health, wealth, and relationships. Three goals. Health, wealth, and relationships. Okay, let's think about that. We'll, we'll listen to her and don't, let's not forget that. What was it? Health, wealth, relationships. I have to keep that in mind. So your health goals, your wealth goals, your financial goals, they need to be specific and measurable. You need to be able to look back at the end of the first quarter and say, did I or did I not meet them? And it needs to be a yes or no answer. So your health goal cannot be, I want to lose weight. It cannot be, I want to get healthier. It cannot be, I want my blood pressure to be better. What does that mean? It's not specific enough. It needs to be, I want my blood pressure to go down three points. I don't even know if that's how blood pressure works. Whatever. I want to lose. I think this is such a good point because K-Bird said, my career goals don't fit into any of those. Same. I also have career goals and they don't fit into that. Why? Because they don't use this as a career. They don't use this as like, they, they, they don't want you to look at this as just like a job. They really want this to be your life. Like they want you to make this a part of your life, which in turn, I think makes it very brainwashy, weird. Cause like wealth, health, and oh Jesus, Julie Joe, I literally just told us all to remember it. Health, wealth. What was the third one? I'm so annoyed by myself. Wealth isn't everything after a point, obviously. Yeah, right. Health. Health. Wealth. Relationships. Lorne, thank you so much. And relationships. And why... Uh, it's so weird that she just leaves career out, right? Because this is her career. I don't know. I, I find that odd. What do y'all think? It's eight pounds. I want to... Um be able to walk three miles right whatever your health goal is it Natalie. needs to be specific so when you get to the end and you look at it and you measure it you can say yes i did or no i didn't okay so specific. emory said no no it's health wealth and i'm so annoyed by myself specific and measurable. same thing with your relationships relationships are harder to figure out how to make them specific and measurable but in this last year for those of you who have followed me for a while you know, a lot changed in my personal life in the last year. 
I got really specific about what I wanted in my relationships, in my family, what I wanted my family to look like. Thanks for I re rekindled a relationship with um, my son and um, and my children's father, and we're we're everybody's okay. People who have known me for a long time are like, how did that happen? Because I got specific about my goal. I knew what I wanted, and I started saying yes to things that got me closer to it, and no to things that didn't. I saw a YouTuber, so I watch uh, certain YouTubers every week, their lives, and someone was like, let's have a goal to get to like 300 likes or something, and so I'm gonna do that. 300 likes, anybody? We're on 85 right now, let's see if we can get to 300. Have things happened in that year that I got offended by or got upset by? And when I'm making a decision, am I going to start a fight over this? Or I look at my goal. I want my family to be a whole and everybody to be able to be together and be confident and happy. I want to be able to share holidays. I want to be able to go to the same birthday parties. Is this reaction that I'm trying to choose going to get me closer to that goal or further away? It's easy. No, it's not going to be further away. I'm not doing it. I'm just going to choose to not be upset. I'm not offended. It just becomes so easy when you really um, attach yourself to your plan. So, so the first thing is the goals. So you've got to lay out the goals. You gotta know what they are, they need to be super clear and they need to be goals for the next quarter. Okay, so for the first quarter, where's my planner? Hang on, I'm gonna grab my planner. She's gonna go grab this giant medical book. It's not really, obviously, but it feels like it is a medical book. I got one too, Melissa. Thank you. Okay. So you have your, your goals lined out. You're going to do this. Do it on a piece of paper, guys. You need a piece of paper. And then um, you need to start thinking about strategies. So there's three things. Goals, strategies. Yes, with a soft cover, right, Hannah? <laughs> soft cover. Strategies and tactics. Your strategies are your overreaching ideas. It's not what you do every day. Your, your strategies are the bigger idea of how you get there. So, for example, I want to lose eight pounds in the first quarter of this year. Okay, well, I can tell you, I always go with health because it's so easy. Uh, I need to drink more water, I need to move my body, and I need to eat less calories. Because... I don't know if you guys know this, but losing weight is really a simple scientific process. Um, consume less than you burn, you lose weight, like period. There are some other variables like hormones and some other things that you balance, gut health, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> you can take all the supplements you want. Like, you're still consuming more calories than you're burning. You are going to gain weight. I mean, it's just this, it just really actually is science. Um, Whether she's right or not, Melissa, stop talking about weight loss and weight gain just stop just shh, 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 shh. um we just overcome we go to work to overcomplicate it so those are the strategies so you take those strategies so let's say it's drink more water is the strategy it's not specific enough for day to day so the tactic then you get into your tactic like this is like your to-do list what if you're just joining us and you're like what the hell is going on what's the sound her, 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 wow, wow, words. People are over cleaning her house in that same room that she's in. And she thought, ah, ah, I'll just go live now. <laughs> what? What am I going to do? So I always talk about water. <clears throat> water is a really hard one for me. It's in, in a group where people spent 120 to $130 for this planner and her trainings. Seriously. Hey, Hannah. It's so stupid when I say it because it seems so simple. Like pour the water, drink the water, the water's done. It's not that simple for me. I don't like water. It's hard for me. So I have to come up with specific tactics every day. Like I drink a glass of water, I have it stack. So I drink a glass of water after I brush my teeth. I drink a glass of water while I'm waiting for my food at any restaurant. It's a rule of my life. They always give me water. It's sitting there. It's just a rule. I just drink the water. And so I've these tactics have to come into play. Specifically, what are you going to do every day to get you closer? And when you get these tactics lined out, when you get these tactics lined out, you now know what to do. You don't need to think. The problem with reaching goals is we, we think about these big goals. So you have a big financial goal of creating $10,000 a month passively. It's a great goal. Cool goal. But when you think about it, it feels really big. But when you break it down, you're like, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to, here's my strategies. I'm going to work my side business. I'm going to.
Melissa, if you watch these videos, which she has me blocked everywhere, so I think she does, um, or maybe she just sees that I make them. Can you, God, could you please get a microphone? Please. You know what? Actually, I'll send you one. I will send you a microphone. I just need you to get, I, I just give me your uh, P.O. box. I'll send one. Okay. Please. <laughs> to stay at my full-time job, I'm going to start selling all the crafts I made in my basement. Those are your strategies. And then your tactics. How do you do that every day? Well, the tactic for work is like, get up, go to work, right? Easy. The tactic for my side business. I don't know what side business you're in. If you're in my side business, the tactics are done for you. Do your daily workflow. Like there's, there's no question about it. Those ta that's why. I, I like Charlene's point here when she says she's trying to flex her privileges having her house remodeled. Mm-hmm. Hannah said, I always felt like Anchorman when he was like, what do I do with my hands when I had cleaners over, right? <laughs> um, oh, also, uh, we're talking about like flavoring. I saw someone say Mio. I used to use Mio. Mio's good. I also use Liquid IV. And I have a discount code for that, by the way. Uh, I'm an affiliate with Liquid IV. But I also like Stir. S-T-U-R. That's a good one. It's built that way, by the way. For those of you who know what the daily workflow is, it's built to give you specific daily tactics on what to do. And then, and then, you know, sell the stuff in my basement. Well, every day I'm going to make one post on Marketplace. I'm going to make, like, what specifically are you going to do day to day? When you get that lined out, you can stop thinking about the big goal. Because if you believe your tactics will work, then all you have to do is get married to those daily tactics. You guys know I'm right. That if you get up and you work out, <coughs> if your goal is lose eight pounds. If you get up and you drink half your body weight in water, you eat 1,200 calories, and you work out for 40 minutes. 1,200 calories? I am not a dietitian. I am a medical professional, but I'm not an expert when it comes to dietitian and things like that. But what I do know is that my dietitian friends, aka Rihanna, my favorite lemonade galley, 1200 is not it. Nar. That's a nar for me. That's five days a week. You know damn well you're going to lose weight. If you got married to those, you're going to lose weight. And it's the same thing with financial tactics. Yeah, you're going to lose weight because it's not near what your body needs, but it's also going to screw up your metabolism. Hannah, who knows her, her, sh her shit, is 1200 is the needed amount for a toddler. If you've watched any Optivia anything, we, yeah, we've gone over this right here. 1200 is the needed amount for a toddler, but you won't keep it off right. Unless you're like four foot eight and 85 pounds, you need more. <laughs> yeah. DC, welcome. Howdy. Yeehaw. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with relationship tactics. If you know that if you pay attention to it, what you focus on, you're going to get. What I'm trying to get you to do is get focused on what you actually want and stop letting the outside world come in and guide you. Stop letting other people's goals guide you. If you have this plan. Isn't that exactly what she's doing though? Guiding us? She's the outside world guiding us. But she's acting like she's not. Plan in place. <coughs> Excuse me. You can start making decisions based on your goals. Not on everybody else's goals, but on your goals. Right, Luna. All right. So when you get your planner, and some of you are getting them this week, you're going to notice that every month has a... A month, so the month lined out because I think it's important to look at our month. Um, and I want you to actually tactically write in here. There's also a training page every month to start giving you so just some some information about what to do that month. At the Chaos Goblin said, "So ignore everything you're saying." Got it. Right. <laughs> That's it. The bottom of the training page, you will see that you have. Okay, now I need my glasses. You have top four goals for 2024. This is Here, let's look at it together. And then you have priorities. What mo matters most to me? The reason I want you to fill these out. Get committed to filling every page out every single day. It will change your life because what you focus on, you get. And because when you wake up in the morning and you do this first thing in the morning and then you start branching off and your day happens, your day's going to happen to you or you're going to happen to your day. And if you fo focus okay. first that morning on what your priorities are, you're going to. Pay attention to them. You're going to start seeing opportunities to reach them far more than if you're just floating through. All right. Um, I'm not doing the training on how to use the planner yet, but 
Then the next thing you have is, so this is January. Wait, 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 wait. We're in this group and you, it's January. And you still, she still to this day has not done, what, what are we, January like 16th? 14th, close, almost said 15th. And you still haven't done that training? What is happening? I was on the second round, I think. I'm pretty sure it's on the second round of planners. So I know everyone should have their planner. What What's going on? Why haven't you gone over the planner yet? Like, why haven't you trained us yet? That is so weird. It's the middle of January. Your January dinner plans. There is a meal. I know a lot of you are excited about this. There is a meal for every single night in every single day in this entire year. Now, I would rather, I would rather have a habits tracker than a January, than a dinner plan. Calm down. You don't find on Pinterest. This is just a way for you to make less decisions of things that don't matter. And what do I mean by that? Why did I put food in here? Because we are required to make so many decisions every day. You've got to stop focusing on making decisions that don't matter. That don't matter so much. And your dinner, I mean, your meals do matter though. She's talking about health and blah, 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 blah. It's not just supplements, Melissa Newsflash. Your meals do matter. Things like clothes, right? Like you can you can help decision fatigue by planning out your clothes for the week and just boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Um, there, there are very great ways to help out decision fatigue. Also, if you're here, we're trying to get to 300 likes on this video currently. So I know we're at like over 100. We're at 119. So let's see if we can get there. But anyway, um, but dinner, I think your meals are important. Like your meals are an important decision for you to make. And it's something that you need to consider. Find ways to make those decisions simpler. I have to tell you that most days I do not decide what to eat. I often, if I go to a restaurant, because it's just, I just don't care. I know I need to say within my calories and whatever, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm okay. If I go to a restaurant and the menu is big, I don't even open it. I look at the waiter and say, can you just order whatever you think I should eat? Now, for some of you, that's not an option. You're picky. Hold on. What was that? She looks at the waiter, doesn't open the, doesn't open the menu and said, can you just order what you think I should eat? Mm -mm. Not Melissa. <laughs> I could never imagine Melissa going, whatever you think. No. She makes her own decisions. She, she absolutely wants what she wants. There's no... There's no. Also, can we not put that pressure on a waiter? That's not their job. Their job is not to order something for you, what they think you need. Weird. That is so weird. Melissa, why do you do this to people? Eater or whatever. I'm not. But there are other things in your life that you don't have to be spending so much time and mental energy making decisions on. Clothing is another one. Like, have you guys ever like really like researched billionaires? You guys are super focused on a financial goal, which is what I'm super focused on, which is why I will not make decisions on what to eat. And I will. Melissa, I don't care what a billionaire does. I do know that what they do though is not ethical. Okay. So. Shh, shh. Still not make decisions. I sat down when I hey, built a cloner. and I don't need to think about I, if I don't know what to eat tonight, I have to cook dinner for my family. I'm going to use one of these. I'm just going to be like this one. And that's what we're going to do because, because it's just not worth my mental energy. I'm, my priorities are not that. If yours are, that's fine. But mine are not. Um, but have you also ever noticed like most really wealthy people, most super successful people, they kind of look the same every day. Did you know that most of them, right, what K-Birds are, they have chefs, they have people that set out their clothes, that some people even have people that put their clothes on them, that choose their designer clothes and bags and all. They have people who do this for them because they're billionaires, Melissa. Let's, rational, logical thoughts. Let's have those, shall we? Oh, Mika. 
thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for being so generous. Because that the reason people like JJ and Aaron couldn't continue being an MLM is because you have to be heartless to succeed in MLM. Glad to catch a live. Oh, thank you. That's really kind of you. I appreciate that. Um, thank you for the generosity. <laughs> Bahaha, not by the planner as a tip. <laughs> by the planner as a tip. That's funny. They wear their hair the same every day. They, like, who is it? They don't have to do it though. Like they don't, I think she's missing a point. I think she's missing the point. We all, right, Hannah, we all have the same 24 hours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is it? BJ Puck said billionaires don't have her planner. <laughs> so true. Bill Gates, he wears like the same color shirt every day. He buys like 20 of them. He doesn't think That's about it. Co. I'm not concerned about it. I, I wear pretty like much the same clothes over and over again on repeat. I still want to think about it. I have a certain set of clothes I'm comfortable in. I know they look fine. And I don't really put a lot of effort or thought into it. I'm just not going to. I have other priorities that are just far more important to me. It doesn't matter to me. It just doesn't matter if I'm wearing a red shirt today or a blue shirt. So, and I'm wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday. I'm just not, I'm really heavily focused on, on other priorities in my life. Anyway, there's also, let me tell you something. One more thing. Well, we're supposed to be talking about planning, but I'm grabbing my phone. Hang on. My phone is dead because apparently having a charged phone is not a priority. I think that's I want you guys to go and download chat GPT. And the reason I'm going to show you the app is because there's a million of them out there and I want to make sure you get the right one. It's free. Okay. It looks like this chat GPT. Please go download that app right after this live. I want you to stop doing things so hard. For those of you who are freaked out, freaked out by AI, <laughs> I got to tell you something. Brian said, Okay, everyone, let's turn to page 798 of the planner. <laughs> 798. Oh, that's what it feels like. I wish she would have numbered the pages, too, because, y'all, for real? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this planner. This thing, top of my head, to, to my literal collarbone. Wild. You're already using it. You use it when you watch Netflix. You use it when you hit Google. You use it. AI is everywhere. You're already using it, so just get over it. Download yeah. ChatGPT. And the reason I'm telling you to do that is these this list of dinner plans. Okay, so the first, I'll tell you the first one, because none of you have seen these. Well, the you, first Angela. one for January is grilled lemon. It just says Monday. Grilled lemon garlic salmon. Are you really going through your dinner plan? Are you really? Is that what we're doing? You have 10 minutes left of this video and you're going to go through some of your dinner plan when you haven't even gone over the rest of the entire, the entire planner. That's what we're doing. That's ridiculous. With quinoa and asparagus. There's no recipe. You all realize how big this book was. I cannot put 365 recipes in it too. <laughs> so what I want you to do, you're not, it's, it's just so simple. I go to chat GPT and I say, give me the recipe for grilled lemon garlic salmon with quinoa and asparagus. Okay, so I just typed it in and hit send. In about 30 seconds, I'm gonna have the recipe. Yep, there come the ingredients. It's gonna tell me exactly what to do. I'm gonna do this on my iPad. I'm gonna open it up on my kitchen, on my kitchen counter, and then I'm gonna cook it. And and also, when I'm done, when it's done with this, I can say, I'm gonna do it for you so you can see how powerful this is. I also do not want to figure out what to buy at the grocery store. I'm not gonna do that either. This is so, riveting. Here's the instructions. It's coming out. Tells you how to serve it. Okay, give. Y'all are all making great points. First off, someone, first off, there is Von Gool says, it's a well-known issue that AI generated recipes are wildly incorrect. You could also use Google, Cat's Meow says. Chat, uh, Rosie says, Chat GPT is not an effective recipe maker. Angela says she's letting Chat, BT, Chat GPT make her recipes. Um, obviously, 
Coconut said Pinterest has recipes that are accurate. Um, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's like a boomer who's like, wow, technology. I know. Why is she using chat GPT for this? It's I, mm, Pinterest is where I go. I'll put it that way. Me a grocery list for the yes, above Aaron. recipe. Oh, it's writing my grocery list for me. So now I'm gonna look at that grocery list, see what I have in the house, and then I can order my groceries. Or if you still go to the grocery store, you can go to the grocery store. I don't go to the grocery store, but. Good for you, Melissa. Maybe maybe you should. Maybe you should get out of the house. I'm not, I don't waste my time doing that either. Oh, well. well <laughs> I, don't, I'm not, I don't have to go look at the recipe. No, I need three cloves of garlic. It just tells me here. <coughs> Is that cool? Question, do y'all actually think she does that for recipes? Do you actually think that's what she does for recipes? I'm curious. I'm gonna go see if I can see comments on here so I can answer any questions because I wanna get back into the planning portion of this in one second. Um, but I can't see comments on my yeah. iPad. It's really annoying. Oh, you guys are. Yeah, chat GPT is my BFF too, Tracy. Um, I agree, Hannah. But definitely go do it. Yes, Tracy Steve Jobs wore the same turtleneck over and over again. Robin, subscribe to a weekly food subscription. All I do not believe that he wore the same turtleneck over and over again. I think he got multiple of the same turtleneck and then wore new ones every day because he didn't have to wash them or anything. He had, could afford to buy multiple. He also could afford someone else to do his laundry. Also a brilliant solution. You don't have to think. It just comes. It has the ingredients. You just do the thing. That's a whole nother solution. Um, so, so find solutions for things that are taking up the space in your life that are not meeting your goals. So financially, the next page in the planner is income and expenses. Okay. So it's going to give you, oh, I need to, have a phone call. okay. Income and expenses. Why do you need to write in this every single month? Because if you are not getting intentional about it and you're not paying attention to it, it's going to get away from you. Have you ever noticed that like your bank balance just goes back to the place wherever it was before because you're not focusing, you're not paying attention. All right. So then every single day has two things that you need to do. And this is where we get into the strategies and the tactics that I talked about. For those of you who are just coming on, if you didn't see the beginning of this live, please go back on the replay and watch the beginning. Um, but every single day has top three goals, to-do list, and then save for tomorrow. So that's, that's one sheet. And then the next sheet is your hour by hour every 30 minutes. God, this thing is heavy. This is a desktop planner. This is not something you carry around. So it has your daily schedule. And we are going to go through... Um, another training separate than this that is going to be on how. This is such a good point. Student 1483 said the meal plan in her overpriced planner was probably also a work of chat GPT. It would explain the incongruity between meal ingredients. Mm, that is such a good point. I feel like a lot of this is chat GPT. Like she probably didn't do much here. She might've gone on Canva and grabbed a few things. Thoughts? I think that's a good point. Uh, I'm late. Hey, Shelby. Welcome. Uh, although she admits that it's hard to carry around. Yeah, it is. Chantal Jensen said freezer meals and meals prepping one day a week is a good way to have to, to not have to consistently think about what you're going to have every day without a giant planner, right? Use these two pages and why it's so important. Okay. All right. I need to get my life back together here. Guys, this is so ridiculous. So every day has that. And every day you're going to wake up and you're going to give yourself, you're going to gift yourself 15 to 20 minutes of time to focus on this. And it is going to change the way you run your days. You already have your plan. You have your goals for health, wealth, and relationships. You have your strategies laid out. You know the overreaching ideas of what you're going to do. And then you have your tactics. Your tactics is what you're putting on here. So top three goals for today. What am I going to accomplish today? What is my to-do list? The things I need to get done today. They must get done. And at the end of the day, so when you start doing tomorrow, so this is Monday, when you start doing Tuesday. 
So the incomes with an S in the planner was indeed incorrect. Mm -hmm. And you go to to-do list. You need to look back at Monday. What did you not accomplish? That needs to get moved over to the next day. That's why it's like this. That's why there's so many pages. And it's the same thing over and over and over again. Okay. Bottom line is you have to get your plan drawn out. And we need to do that before January 1st. We need to really dig into, I'm holding the plan like it's my child. It's my baby. When did she make this? Um, we need to dig into what your actual oh. plan is. She filmed this December 7th. It was not in January. When was the last time she actually posted a video? The last time she posted a video. Oh, wait, really? Was it? No way. No way. This one was sooner. No. The last time she did. The last time she did a video in that group was December 7th. Are you kidding? That's wild. That's wild. People, she she said, not only are you getting this planner for $120 slash $130, you're also getting this group where we're going to do stuff. Blah, blah, blah. You haven't done anything, Melissa. Also, don't forget to like the live. We're trying to get to 300. I don't know what we're at right now. What is your plan? What are your goals for the next quarter? And then break, and then slow down, split them up. So you've got your health goal. Then we're going to think about the strategies that will get us there. And then you've got to brainstorm tactics. And I am going to start dropping in here um, my link for personal coaching time. And so that's what I want you to bring to the personal coaching time. Okay, so you're going to be able to book a 20 minute one to one coaching call with me. And I want you to bring that where you want your steps right. on. So like, this is my goal. I think these might be the right strategies. Where are we at with tactics? So that's what we need to work on this month. I'm going to open up my calendar. Um, I'm not going to do it today. I'm launching a new program in my company today, and I'm really heavily focused on that after this after this live. Um, I will probably do it tomorrow, and I will announce it. So I'm going to open up my calendar. I want you to book a 20-minute call and have your plan ready. Have your three goals for health, wealth, and relationships ready, and let's talk through your strategies, and let's really... Since my 20-minute call, could y'all imagine... Could you imagine my face pops up? Hey, Melissa. <laughs> wow, that would be wild. We dig into the tactics and what's going to get you there. Because once we have that plan in place, you're done. It's a done deal. Your goals are, are done. You're going to get them. You just now have to, once we, we figure out a plan, tactics that will work, that you're going to actually do and stay accountable to, that's how you're going to get there. And then we're going to do another one-to-one -one coaching at the end of the first quarter. And we're going to say what worked, what didn't work. Because some things won't work. You're going to set up tactics and then you're not going to do them. And then you're going to need, and then you're going to need to reevaluate and say, okay, why didn't I drink the water before my meal every time? What should I put another tactic in place? Am I always eating with my husband? Can I remind him, ask him to remind me, hey, that's your, you need to get that water down before you order a glass of wine or whatever. But we need to then reevaluate reassess, adjust, and then make changes for quarter two. And this is how we get there. You guys, whatever your goals you set, if you set a plan in place that will work and you get married to that plan, there is no not reaching goals this time. This is how you do it. I'm just telling you, this is how you change your whole life. And you can have anything you decide you can have. You can have anything that you want, but you can't just wish it. You cannot just make a dream board, make a vision board. You have to plan it. And then you have to take action every single day towards it. Inspired action based on your plan. And you need to stay focused. And the way you stay focused is by having the plan. So you have something to go back to and say, does this meet my goals or does this not meet my goals? Does talking to this person on the phone for an hour meet this goal or not meet this goal? It becomes an easy yes or no. I don't have to think about it. I don't think about your feelings. It's not about your feelings. It's about my goals that I said, decisions become so much easier. It's quick yeses and nos. You can make decisions so much faster. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that was helpful. We are, <coughs> I'm gonna drop the link for my, for my personal coaching calendar in here tomorrow. I might do it today, if I can get to it. It'll be here in the next day or two. Um, book a call, 
Let's sit down together on Zoom. Let's bang it out. Let's make sure your plan is clear and concise and it makes sense. Because like the other thing is you can't have goal competition. And I talk about all this in, in my book, but goal competition is a whole nother problem. So like, you know, let's say you have a goal um, to go build, you're making $0 right now in your online business and you have- It did not come with a bookmark. It did not come with tabs. It came with nothing other than itself. And flimsy ass pages, by the way. Watch. Chelsea, that for this mm -mm. goal in the first quarter to start making five thousand dollars. Bang it out. That's a big growth goal. Bang it out. <laughs> and then you have a relationship goal of being a hundred percent present with your four homeschool children and leaving your phone on the, on the charger all day long and not looking at it. Those goals are in competition. They're competing with each other. It won't work. You have to look at the plan as a whole. So, so that your goals work in conjunction with each other and not separate. I'll give you an example. Um, one of the goals that we have here in this household, we have a couple of, of kids that want to scratch off new states that they've visited. And we have a business goal of wanting to start um, doing more regional events. So flying locally to where people live and doing smaller regional events. Those two goals, instead of being in competition, like we have to take vacation to go do this with the kids. And then we have to take separate time to go. They can work together in collaboration. So we're figuring out a way to make those two goals work together instead of be competing goals. Does that make sense? Um, all right. That's all I have. I really, that's really all I have. I'm getting off this live. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I will drop the link later today. If you are a part of lab, I'm just telling you, you need to pay attention today. Things are happening. It's happening. Everybody remain calm. That, that was, that was from, that was from December 7th. That was the last video she did in the Facebook group. It's over a month old. Oh, Mika. Thank you so much again. Mika said, imagine living your life for fun and not profit. Right. Th that would be nice. Uh, thank you so much for your generosity and the uh, super chat. I greatly appreciate all super chats. Thank you. Uh, Melissa, what have you been talking about? Hannah P? That's not how I feel. Okay, question. Question. Guess who just finished um, their uh, vision board? You know how she hates vision boards? It made me think of someone else. Can y'all guess? And now I want to watch. Now I want to watch her vision board video. But I don't know if y'all will want to watch it too. I won't watch it unless we, like I do a video over it or I probably won't do a video over it either. So I'm only going to watch it on a live. You wanna, but you don't even know who it is, not that Kate. Because what if I tell you and you're like, mm -mm, mm -mm. no one likes watching her. Everyone, everyone says she yells. <laughs> Y'all know who it is now? Y'all know who I'm talking about? I know y'all say you're here for it, but y'all don't even know who it is. It's not Courtney Shortney. I don't watch Courtney Shortney. I can't, I can't stand Courtney Shortney. I don't, I don't do anything with Courtney. Who is it? It's BA Boss Babe. It's Brittany Anderson. Charlene got it. I mean, I need mean, though, Charlene. Bad, bad. It's not Babs, but it's it's Brittany Anderson. Babs is Brooke Ashley Banks. For those who don't know what what when I say Babs, um, but it's a uh, Brittany Anderson. I have no idea who you're on about. Listen, did you not watch my recent video on Brittany Anderson? I slaughtered. Well, that's kind of an aggressive word. I wrecked. I toasted and roasted her. All you needed to say was that she was loud. I thought that would do it for y'all. I thought that would do it for y'all. Um, Dre? Oh, that's a good one, but no, it's not Dre. The Screamer? <laughs> the Screamer. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna watch. We're gonna get that one. Um, because it's, I, I just thought it was funny. I want to see what Brittany Anderson's goals are. I'm curious to know. So. Let's see. 
Oh, she's done so many lives. Is Stanley the problem or your attitude? <laughs> Finishing my vision board. Do y'all want to? Okay, well, I guess I could let y'all choose. Holiday hustle. No waiting until January 1st. GoPro thoughts. Wait, but now, now I now there's so many options. The power. No, no, we'll do the vision board because I'm not gonna do the vision board. I'm not gonna actually like make a video over that. But some of those other videos, I'd make a video over. So just give me one sec to download it, and then we'll do that. Thoughts. Oh no, the decisions. We love yeah, I think it'd be fun to watch Vinny's vision Brittany's vision board, especially because Melissa hates vision boards so much. And so I just thought that worked well together. Um, all right. Some screen sharing, present, video file. Let's see if it downloaded already. Nor, I'm still waiting for it to download. Oh, I it's because I have to press download. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to run to the bathroom really quick. Um, so y'all just hang out while I run to the bathroom and we'll watch Brittany Anderson. Oh, but that's a short, that's a short, hold on. You know what? Let me do this. I'm going to put on a little video while I run to the bathroom really quick. <laughs> okay, here, I'll put this. Oh, God, that is so loud. Oh, no. Okay. Let me put this on and then um, I'm going to run to the bathroom and then we'll come back and we'll watch Brittany Anderson. This is a scary my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at viral, unhinged MLM slash different kinds of scam TikToks. Either the TikTok went viral or the people in it have been viral. And I think the majority of these actually went viral. I'm going to play a little game too. You don't have to participate. There's a few of them that I'm going to go, what MLM do you think they're in? And then you can tell me in the comments below. Then I'm going to show you after we're done with that video, what MLM that they're in. Don't forget, you can hit the subscribe button if this isn't your first video or if it is and you just want to see more hit that like button if you enjoy it please feel free to add commentary as we go through all these videos i'd love to know your thoughts because i have a feeling a lot of you are going to have some let's get started Okay, get ready for this first one. I'm going to have you guess what MLM they're in. You're never going to guess it because what they're about to say makes no sense. Someone asked, now, what is network marketing? This TikTok actually went viral with over 200,000 likes or something like that, over 200,000 views, which I'm just gonna call viral when it comes to the hashtag network marketing. So let's listen up and it is two minutes long. I'm gonna try to break it down as we go. Buckle up, let's watch. So this video will be me explaining what network marketing is. So network marketing or also called affiliate marketing. No, it's not. That gets me every time. Let's get this cleared up really quick. Network marketing, is multi-level marketing. The actual name for network marketing, social selling, direct selling, there's plenty of other things they like to call it. The name for all of those things, including network marketing, is multi-level marketing. Multi-level marketing and affiliate marketing are two different things because if they were not two different things, affiliate marketing would also be under multi-level marketing. But affiliate marketing is its own type of 
marketing. Stormy Wellington even likes to call multi-level marketing transformational marketing. Yeah, that's not a thing. It's all multi-level marketing. Ayo, <laughs> I'm back. Who's ready? This JJ is an imposter. <laughs> JJ Seption. <laughs> JJ will have to copyright claim herself. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Y'all got me cracking up. <laughs> okay. Um, grab whatever you need to. We're gonna watch Beat Boston. JJ entertaining us while JJ was in the bathroom. My mind blown. Okay. Just know she starts off her video loud. So if you gotta turn the volume down, I get it. I, I get it. Um, let me see how I want this done. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Hello, 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 my beautiful humans. Happy, happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday, happy Friday. Excited to chat with you guys here really quickly as I finish up my vision board. Um, and I want to share with you guys some of the things that are on here um, because I'm really excited for them. Um, so I have not actually created a vision board in a couple of years. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to share with you guys why here in just a little bit. Um, so if y'all could do me a favor, if y'all are catching me live, drop that word alive in the comments below. Um, if y'all are catching that replay, go ahead and drop below that hashtag replay. If you are new to my broadcast, make sure you drop that word new in the comments below as I would love to connect with you and figure out how I can best serve you. Um, while you are here in my world, okay? So I ended up thinking of some more things that I wanted like to actually sweater. add to my vision board. So I did a first round of printing things to add. We did a Zoom with our team and one of our sidelines, who's one of my best friends, Miss um, Lindy. And uh, we created vision boards together with our oh. teams, which I absolutely Lindy, oh, Ugh. Anyone remember Lindy's wild video Erin and I we did it together on a live and she is so yuck 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 yuck, yuck. <laughs> I do not like Lindy I don't like Lindy I would rather watch BA boss babe than Lindy hey babe I'm a little hungry Ooh. neither those both seem really heavy my tummy is so full for no reason I don't know. Sorry, y'all. I haven't eaten today because I woke up at one. <laughs> so I haven't eaten anything. Uh, I don't know. Banana. Bring me that banana. Thank you. Very I think the banana is in my lunchbox. Top top part. Anyway. Uh, Lindy. <sighs> do, I, do y'all want me to show y'all who Lindy is? <laughs> I don't like Lindy. Stop, Brittany. Lord, God. Change for the banana. Um, I don't want to go show y'all who Lindy is. We'll we'll figure it out in a second. I don't want to. Absolutely. Love, love, love. Yes. The first week of January is almost Here. over, and we're just now creating our vision boards because there's no time limit on it. You could wait until July if you really wanted to. Um, there, the best day to go after your goals, vision, and dreams is yesterday. The second best day is today. So that is exactly, um, what I decided to do when it comes to this vision board. Now I've had my goal set for a while. Um, but this helped me to just kind of think more big picture. Okay. So for me, I am a very logical thinker. Okay. I'm a logical thinker. So it's a little bit more challenging for me. Did y'all hear what she just said? It, who saw my last video I did with her? Where I roasted and toasted her like she was in a toaster oven. A logical thinker, Brittany? Many. Elizabeth's many logic, much think. No. Brittany, no. Wait, is this a comedy show? Like, is she putting it on for us? Or is she just, like, farting around? Because this is, that's good. That's a good giggle. Like, you know, Brittany, stop. Um, To be able to think about 
like these big, crazy one year, two year, five year, 10 year goals because I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I can't say I want to do that if I don't know how to get there. I need a freaking plan. Where's the, where's the system? Where's the step by step? Like I need to know exactly how I'm going to get to these goals and dreams. That is how my brain works. Okay? Yeah, oh my goodness gracious. That is how my brain works is I need to know exactly how I'm going to get somewhere. Okay. So when it comes to like dreaming and vision, it's not through math. <laughs> If you watch my video, you know. And thinking like outlandish huge goals, it's a challenge for my brain. In the past, it's been a challenge. Journaling has really helped, okay? Uh, playing the right music when you're journaling out about your goals, your dreams, your vision, your future helps as well. Like there's so many different things that helps. Um, so it has been a learning curve for me and I've always had great intentions to create a vision board, but I'm like, oh man, I don't have a magazine to cut pictures out of. Oh man. Good question, Christy. Man, I don't know I don't exactly know. what I want to put on there. Oh man, is this goal big enough or is this silly to put on a vision board? And like just all the overthinking things that our silly willy brains like to do. Okay. Um, but I didn't do that this year. Uh, my girl, Lindy, said, hey, I think I want to host a Zoom for my team. I said, you know what? That's great. I think my team would love to join, and I also need to do the same as well. Um, so that is exactly what we did. It's exactly, exactly, exactly what we did. Filler words. That's exactly what we did. That's exactly, exactly, exactly what we did. <laughs> oh, I mean, I do it too, but girl. 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 Anyway, I'm harsh on Brittany, so whatever. This vision board is bigger than I actually expected it to be, um, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys one of the weird things that is on my vision board. It's actually a picture of myself. Okay, um, and I'm gonna show I'm gonna share with you guys uh, why what? that is. Okay, so I have a mixture of like things that I want, places that I want to go. Um, things that I want to invest in, what I want my body to look like, um, Jay. <laughs> some goals and visions and dreams for our family, like a whole bunch of different things. Let me tape this one last thing on here for now. So I have everything like taped down, but I'm going to add a lot more words and designs and swirls and all the things to like make it Britney fied. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next, but I wanted to share with you guys. Now you know, like an audio box that every time you touch it, it screams because that would work guys um some of the things that i have added on here if you have done a vision board will you drop me a yes in the comments below i know miss Brittany has done a vision board because we were just on the same call together okay so i'm going to share with you guys some of the things that i have on here oh my background is blurred can you even see this i think you'll be able to see it okay i think it's a little bit different than zoom okay is this backwards if this is backwards will you drop a yes or if it's yes it's correct will you drop the word correct because i think i can switch it if i need to i just haven't done it in so long i would have to remember how to do it hello jessica jones how are you hello jeff okay it's backwards I think I said if I, oh, now it's blurred. There we go. It's correct. Okay, great. I was like, oh no, I forget. It's literally backwards. Who, which one of y'all were in there and told her it's correct? Which one of y'all were in there and did that to her? Shame on you. What prompts? Does yes mean it's correct or yes mean it's backwards? Okay. Somebody said it's correct, which is exactly what I needed. Oh, someone says it's correct and someone says it's backwards. Which one of you was it? Rebecca, nah. <laughs> right. <laughs> How is it correct for some and backwards for some? I'm, I'm so confused. It I looks swear. backwards to me. Are you sure, Avery? Uh, I think only one person said it was correct. Let me see if I can. Yes means it's backwards because it's backwards. Someone said it wasn't backwards. I'm so confused. Let me see. Oh, no, those are just filters. I used to be able, oh my God, I'm getting so many text messages. Holy moly. Um, how do I? I 
I don't think I can. Nope, that just flips the camera. I used to be able to back in the day, I guess. Um, I used to be able to. Oh, that turned my light off and everything. Uh, used to be able to like flip the screen this way. So we're just gonna have to do it backwards, okay? Because it doesn't really actually matter. I think I think your brains work well enough to be able to uh, flip it backwards, okay? So I know it's backwards. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. Work with me here, okay? So this here, as you can see, is a beach photo. So I have this as a beach. All right, let's look at it. Let's get this bread. <laughs> here, I'll make it bigger so y'all can see it. Hold on. Is that the biggest? Let's get this bread. Love it. Fan. Big fan. Um, what is the... This one says love in the middle. What's the top and bottom? Teach, love, inspire, I think is what it says. Okay. I can't read it very well because it's backwards. <laughs> Um, what is this top left one that's brown? It has two. Be Billy? No. Billy? No. Huh? Sourdough? Wheat? <laughs> Are you talking about some of her stuff? Um, you're so right. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't. Mm, well, I can't read it. Oh, what if you took the picture and it flipped it? Oh, you're so smart. Oh, you're so smart. Much smarter than I am. I'm going to flip it on my phone. Let's see if I can read it. Oh, shit. How do I flip it? Shit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Represent. So this, this top one, that small one on the top right is represent. This one to the left is be a nice human. Lols. Um, she has home inspiration ideas and colors. That's about what I see right now. Hey, I love you so much. Work with me here. Okay. So this here, as you can see, is a beach photo. So I have this as a beach, yeah, I have a beach a, photo I on here. <laughs> for a couple of different reasons, okay? One of the reasons I have on here is because I want to take another honeymoon to a tropical... Jolene. Jolene, I almost spit my water. Now her vision board won't apply until 4202. I was like, what? It's 2024 back? <laughs> that took me out, right out location um i would like just my husband and i no kids to go on a tropical getaway for at least five days and go to a place that neither one of us have ever been so i'm not sure if that can be somewhere in for us hold on that bottom one interesting interesting let me look let me look that bottom one what does that say Personal team. Hold on. I need to get a better image of what that says. Okay, let me take a picture of this. Look at me. Y'all are so smart for making me do this. But I want to. I want to. Hmm. Is it too blurry? Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to flip it again because I want to see what that bottom one says. So, because it's personal team. She's talking about her team. Sponsor. Sponsor 100 in 2024. I figured it out. That bottom one below this rainbow said sponsor 100 in 2024. All of these numbers add up to 100. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Okay. Thing right here, okay? And then I have some on a tropical getaway for at least five days and go to a place that neither one of us have ever been. 
So I'm not sure if that can be somewhere in the U.S. Recruit, or if we're going to take yes, it right. out of the country, okay? But that's part of that. And then I also want to go on a family tropical vacation as well. So this is like a, a two-parter thing right here, okay? And then I have some words on here. Obviously, be a nice human, be present. I have a picture of... I worked so hard for no damn reason. Now she's just going over it. Of my girl Jesse Lee and I. Can you guys see that? Um, this is Jesse Lee and I. This is a picture that we took in Vegas at Eric Worre's house at one of our events. And then someone took that picture and like took a Polaroid. Hey, Brittany, can you tell Courtney to give like all of Jesse's clothes back to her family? That would be cool. Right of it and sent it to me or gave it to me um, at her celebration of life. Um, so that is on there because I love, love, love that. Okay. Uh, this is my silly family and I over here. Um, you and know, my family's on cute. here for like a lot of reasons. Little pick. Um, I want to prioritize them all year long. My goal and vision. I want to prioritize them all year long, but they're on the far left end. <laughs> this tiny picture of my vision board. And the certainty that I have with my business is that I will build this business bigger than it's ever been built before, even if I have to start it by myself, okay? Which I know I won't have to do because there's already incredible people in, in my life and in my circle and in my business that I know, I know people are going to step up to a level they have never stepped up to before, but even while I'm doing that or and while I'm no doing that, my family oh, no will still be my number one priority mm. because I know that you can have both. OK, uh, and then I also want to take more vacations with them. And I just want to have more little moments of being fully present with my family. If you know anything about me, I love to work. I love to excel. I love to create systems. I love to like help other people out. And that can be very, very time consuming if you don't set boundaries around it. Um, so I'm really going to be focused in on serving at a crazy high level with the most firm boundaries I've ever had in all of my life. Brittany, you've been doing this for what, five plus years now, and you still don't have proper boundaries set around it? Girl. Life and all of my existence, okay? Hello, Angelica and Isabel and yeah, Lana BMLM, and right. Patience. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. I appreciate you. Okay, I have a hot tub right here because no matter what, I'm going to figure it out. Your girl is buying a hot tub this year, okay? I have wanted a hot tub forever and ever and ever and ever. And we have a beautiful square little deck out there. And by the time New Year's Eve gets here, there will be my very own hot tub out on our back. Beetle. Beetle, this hits hard. That is mm, so nice. JJ's already serving at a high level. Catch up. Oh my. Mm, that one hit good. Thanks, Beetle. That felt good. I appreciate you. Back deck, okay? I'm done messing around with it. It's happening. I don't care how much the upkeep costs. We will figure it out. Imagine your largest portion explaining of your vision board is how you're going to get a hot tub. Gotcha. And it will not change our finances <clears throat> at all, okay? It's not going to be something that spends every single penny that we have. Like, it's just going to be like a drop in the hat, and we're going to make it happen. And mm -hmm. it's going to be the biggest blessing yeah. and the most relaxing way to spend my time ever, ever, ever. If you all would love to have a hot tub, can you just drop the word hot tub in the comments below? I'm just curious. <laughs> I can't take it seriously. If you all want a hot tub, could you just drop the word hot tub in the comments? Why? What are you? Doing? That is so weird to me. I don't know. Okay. Um, I actually need to cut this down a little bit because it's it's a little bit big. So this is just on like art paper. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do with it <laughs> is I'm actually going to glue it or tape right. it or something onto some cardboard yes, and then I'm going to hang it right behind my computer so I literally see it every day. Okay. So in my office, there's shelving here and then a door, shelving here and then a closet door, and then this is all windows over here. This whole wall is my only whole wall, and there's not a single thing back there. Not a single thing back there. So that is where I'm going to put this um, along with a piece of artwork that was hand-drawn uh, by one of my really good friends in honor of Jesse Lee. Um, so that's going to go back there behind my computer. I don't know if what I'm about to say is going to come off bad or not. Can they stop making their entire life about the death of Jesse Lee?
can they move, can they like not move on? It's fine to agree, but can, can you stop making every single live have something to do with Jesse Lee in it? I don't know. Maybe that's a little insensitive, but, but you stop making your whole life about Jesse Lee, especially you, Courtney, please get some help. And I mean that. So I can see it as well. Okay. Oh, this is so much easier. Oh, Kim wants a pool. If y'all want a pool in your backyard, drop pool in the comments below. Okay. So let's see here down here. Um, I don't know if you guys know the people who travel a lot, they count country points. So you get one point for every new country that you go to. Okay. I personally have 10 country points. I've been to 10 different countries. Tesseract. Can you believe that Canada is not one of those countries? Okay. So I have been to 10 different countries and on my vision, vision board for this year is to add two more country points. I don't care what countries they are. Doesn't really matter to me. I want to see the whole world. So I just want to add two countries yes -ness. on here. Okay. Yeah. This is supposed to be a, a vision board -ness. Um, Pam, stay out of Canada. <laughs> Eloise, the pharmacist. By the way, Eloise does lives and has a YouTube channel um, where she talks about her pharmacist stuff. And it's really cool. Uh, she's one of my local Facebook friends who posted the um, DG was second top recruiter for her MLM in the UK in 2023. Synergy Worldwide gut resets. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, Desiree, this, this is correct me up. Desiree said, I said earlier, I'm not a vision girly, but I'm petty AF. And now I want to make a vision board to show hers up. I know, petty. <laughs> two countries on here. If you want to travel more, will you drop a plane in the comments below? Like I'm getting ready to hold y'all accountable. Yeah, to Adelaide, I agree. I'm telling you now, if you want to travel the world, you're going to have to get uncomfortable. You're going to have to keep promises to yourself and you're going to have to start doing things you've never done before in order to get results that you've never had before. Okay. I have this beautiful rainbow order bookshelf down here because I want to read more books in 2024. I want to read at least one. Go subscribe to Eloise if, if you're interested in like her pharmacy stuff. It's really cool. Thanks, Charlie. One personal development book every single month. And then I would like to also read books that are just for fun. Okay. Like I have these books down here that are just for fun that I don't read because every time I pick up a book, I'm like, well, I should read a personal development book. What you should, you should personal, personally develop, grow your brain, implement it, change your life, read some new things, implement it, change your life, all the things. But I really, really love to read, like just for fun, not for business, not to grow my mind, like just to read and be in this magical place that is not your life. Um, and so I want to actually, I want yeah. to also do that. So my bare minimum goal with Taylor, she should read a book about cults. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Uh, let's see where we are with the likes. I had a goal of, oh shoot, I forgot that I'm not on my live anymore. I had a goal of like 300, I think I said. Where are we at? 184. Let's get it up there. 300 likes, friends. Books, like fiction books is six fiction books for 2024, okay? Um, and then the second part of this book actually has nothing to do with books. Okay. It's just organization. I thrive and love and nerd out over organization. Like my whole life goal, like my nerdy life goal is for everything in my house to have a place. Like, I want to know exactly where the markers go. I want to know where the lipstick goes. I want to know where every single uh, hairbrush goes. I want my ponytails to have a place and my nail polish to have a place and all of my cups to have an exact place. Like I want everything to have an exact place because I'm a weirdo and that's what I love. Okay. Down here, y'all, this makes me want to throw up. Okay. Me too, but probably for a different reason. My girl Morgan Zambrano set a goal for herself last year to personally sponsor 100 brand new business partners in 2023. Last I knew, Homegirl hit like 93 or 92 personal sponsorships. These are business partners, people that she brought into business to so mentor much. them, coach them, guide them, and help them make an extra income from their phone. Like, holy wowzers. So that is now on my vision board for 2024. 
Okay, like that is on my vision board, which is insane. I don't think I have ever in my whole life ever recruited 100 people in a year. Like, I don't even know if I can pull a report to figure out what my highest number is. But for me, it's not just let's collect 100 people. Like, if y'all know me, that's not how I coach. It's not how I teach. It's not how I guide. It's not how I train. Like, it is 100 people to trust in me and then, like, help these people make thousands of dollars as long as they are coachable, leadable, and hungry. Which if people are not coachable, leadable, and hungry, they're probably not joining me anyways, to be completely honest. So that is on there. Sponsor 100 brand new business partners um, and lead them to success, okay? So we went over the hot tub, we went over the family, we went over Jussie Lee and having more joy in our life. Girl. There's a sticker on here that says, let's get this bread because I think you have to keep it fun. Um, countries, oh, the only two I haven't went over are right here, okay? This sold one right here is I want us to purchase our first investment property, okay? So for those of you guys that have been around a while, you know we already own my mom's home outright, which is technically a second income, or excuse me, a second property that we own. Um, and she will be moving in the next 12 months as well. So we will have that house that we can utilize as an investment property, or we can use a lot, utilize it to help out a family member, or we can sell it, or we can whatever else. But this is an entirely different property on top of that. Like this is completely separate. Like I want to make sure our money is so right that we are adding extra passive streams of income. And this property will be in our town that we currently live in or within 15 minutes. Okay. Um, so that is the vision with this. And this right here is actually me. Can you believe it? This right here is me. Okay. So your girl used to be like a big old buff muscular chick. Okay. And that is, this picture is my reminder of my vision for living in my healthiest body that I have ever lived in in my entire life at the age of 33. Uh, my word for the year is radical transformation. And in case you cannot tell, like everything about my mind is already on track for a radical transformation. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Brittany and Mary Jo and Sue. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. So y'all. A hundred people. I want you personally sponsor, mentor, coach, and lead. 100 people in the year of 2024. And I don't do anything half-assed. So if you are one of the hundred, you are going to have the time of your life because I'm going to push you. I'm going to stretch you. We're going to figure out what your goals are. We're going to figure out what your why is. And we are going to drive until those dreams become. I'm not going to lie. I just signed up right now for Goodreads and just put in the book I read this month. <laughs> Julie Joe, what were you doing? Why were you so quiet for several minutes? Someone mentioned good reasons. <laughs> you wouldn't say no. Your reality, as long as you remain coachable, teachable, like and hungry, and all that I need you to do is trust me, okay? So that is my 2024 vision board. Again, I'm going to like fill in some things and make it fruity and fun and rainbow and all. I read Lilac Girls. Incredible book. All the things, all the things. But that is my vision board. So if part of your vision board is to increase your income or become more financially responsible or uh, more financial free. Emily said, don't do not stretch me, ma'am. Buy me a drink first. <laughs> Freedom or flexibility like and you're ready to do some work. Let me coach you. Let me guide you. Let me help you make that from just a dream on your vision board to an actual reality, I have a system, I have a plan. Let me coach you and push you to the greatest version of yourself. But that is my 2024 vision board that is finished for now. Um, I just want to remind you guys, it's not too late to get started. It's not too late to dream big. Your life is not over. I know a lot of life things have happened to you. It's been curveball after curveball. And you're like, man, I just feel defeated. Man, I feel like the world is against me some days. I promise you, it's not. No matter what creator you believe in, I do not believe there is a single creator that exists out in that world that created you for an average life of any kind. So if you're living an average life, you're living a sub subpar life, you have control to change it all. My life must be so subpar to her. Could you imagine how much she hates my life? She's probably like, oh my God, she's so broke. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but I'm happy. Hannah said, I'm pretty freaking dope already. I don't need your help. Thanks. <laughs> um, 73 books, y'all.
I just started reading books again. Like I haven't read for several years that aren't like medical stuff from ultrasound stuff, you know? It's great. I love it. It is not our fault if we are born poor, but my goodness, it is our responsibility to not die poor. Okay. My goodness. Privilege. <laughs> okay. So I love you guys so, so much. I appreciate y'all. Bye, Brittany. I don't care about what you have to say. How y'all doing? Are we doing all right? <laughs> I told y'all in February, which is the month of my birthday. And I'll be using the planner for February. Bye. <laughs> she just said what? I have no idea. I don't even hear the last part of it. This book. Okay, thank y'all. Um, bye, Brittany. Privilege. Anyway, I'm going to go work out and I have to film another video. Um, and then I've got to stay up all night. So I'm going to read. I have a book. A new book I'm going to read. I read that over five... Well, no, it was like 400 something pages in three days, which for me, I never imagined I could have done that because that's about how long it's been since I've read a book, like just sitting down doing it. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget, I would like this to get 100 likes before we are getting off. Let me go. Let me go check. Let me go see what like, like the number of likes on the video that we're at. I just thought that might be a fun goal. I don't know. Someone who I watched does it and I like it. 203. Okay, we're at 203. We're two or three. Mm. Two or three. Okay. I wonder how many more likes we can get before I hop off. Y'all are great. I'm hopping off now. Y'all think we can get 97 likes in 30 seconds? Um, we like you, JJ. Thank you. I like y'all too. Y'all are great. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a great Sunday and a great rest of your week. Um, Come back later this week. I have a couple of videos coming out. Thanks to Ava for being a wonderful editor. She's in every single one of my descriptions, by the way. So you can always go subscribe to her channel and watch her videos. She does great anti-MLM videos. Um, so thank you for being here. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.